This video is going to be quick, and what it's going, what it's about is aluminum, making it shine like chrome the right way, not just taking some Nevadol or some some mothers and shining it up nice, nice. If you want your aluminum to shine for a long time and have this mirror-like finish to it, then there's something you need to do because when you look at the factory aluminum. What it is is it's a brushed finish. These are this is a Harley Davidson. Uh, these are aluminum shocks, um, fork sliders, whatever you want to call them. Uh, but here's the thing: these are not flat. They feel smooth, but they're not. If you put a magnifying glass on there, you'll know what I'm talking about. The brushed finish on there is what gives you that brushed aluminum look. It's got all like lines that go crossways from the factory. Uh, my goal was to eliminate all those lines and make the aluminum shine as good as chrome. But there's only one real way to do that. You can sit there with never dull or whatever and just polish it and get a quick shine out of it for a day, blah, blah, blah. But if you want this to shine and last for a long time, then what you need to do is you need to knock this flat. In the next video, I'm actually going to do that shock and I'll show you the steps I take. It's a process. It's going to take you some elbow grease. It's not a half an hour job, but the end result is so much better. And if you have the capability, you're even better off taking the shock right off the bike. You know, just pull the front tire, pull the fender, loosen up your uh, triple trees, slide the fork right out so you can get in there. I'm going to actually have to do that because there's some spots I really couldn't get to the way I wanted to, way deep on the inside. Um, but these are polished, wet sanded to 12,000 grit US, which is really, really smooth. And I don't foresee myself having to do much to keep these things in good shape uh, at all for a very long time, um, other than a quick wash and quick polish. But it's uh, these have been these were done a few days ago, and that's that. The key to this, the key to getting this done, is to wet sand those aluminum brush marks that you see out of the other side. I started off with 400 grit to cut through those, and then went with 600, 800, 1200. Uh, excuse me, a thousand, 12, 15, 2025. 3,000 and then I, I'll show you some pads that I use to really get it up to the to the smooth baby's ass smooth quality here and uh, it takes it looks so much better I mean these things look like they're chrome dipped and it rained last night so it's all kind of like nasty and stuff but I'm going to show you how to restore it now these are the original shocks from 92 that's how old they are so in the next video check it out and I'll show you how I do it. It's a lot of elbow grease, and it's, it is it is definitely work. You will work, but the end result is very much worth it. So.